Hi, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I wanna to talk to you about how to properly set up your wrist strap release. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the actual strap itself. Many of the straps on the market today are very adjustable, but not repeatable. It's important that you have a strap that you can put on your wrist and ensure it's the exact same spot every single time. If one time you put your wrist strap on, the wrist strap is very loose, and the next time you put it on, it's tight, it's going to effectively change your draw length. Also, when it's attached to your wrist, if you can take and pull it forward and it falls way out here onto your hand, then it's way too loose. Now that I effectively have that on my wrist, it's tight and I know I'm gonna set it in that same hole every time, the next thing you're gonna move on to is the actual length of your release. Now, as you can see with this one on my hand, it looks very short. It looks like it would be way behind where most people would shoot it. But what you're actually looking for when you shoot this style release is a relaxed hand with a relaxed finger, and that way you can get a full wrap on the trigger like this. Looking at my hand, you can see that this is nice and relaxed. I'm not using any muscles. My hand just lays right around the release like that. And most importantly, the tip of your pointer finger is very sensitive. There are a lot of sensor receptors, but the bottom part of your finger is a lot less sensitive. So if you can set it up to where you wrap your finger on this first bend right here around the trigger, you are much less likely to want to punch the release, just like that. Now once I'm there, I'm going to anchor and pull through the shot. So more often than not, when people start archery and I see them shooting a wrist strap release, they look something like this. Their release is hooked on, they do have the buckle on their wrist, but the release is so long that they're reaching for that trigger and they can barely touch it with their pointer finger. Now, a couple things can happen here. One, their wrist and their hand is very tight because they're having to reach. The next thing that can happen is they break their wrist up like this, which can create very inconsistent shots and uses muscles that are not necessary. Also, they're more likely to want to punch the release because they don't have good contact and they're using the tip of their finger. So, make sure that you have a wrist strap release that you can adjust the exact length that you need for your hand. If you look at this one here, there's actually two Allen wrench screws here, and you can take loose in those, there's a soft strap, and you can pull that strap in or out to where it exactly is the length that you need. So if this is something that you're looking for or you currently have a wrist strap that doesn't adjust, head into your local sportsman's warehouse and they're gonna be able to set you up with something that's going to be comfortable, it's gonna be consistent, and it's gonna fit you correctly.